to myself What a wonderful Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm Charlotte. I'm so happy to have all of you here. Today I have a very exciting video. I am going to be making over my bedroom. This is my room. Um, I desperately need to redo it. The last time I redid my room I was like in eighth or ninth grade and now I'm 20 and a half and um, it's just I've outgrown it. I feel like every girl if you were born around 2000, either had aqua walls or hot pink with zebra print. I feel like every single one of my friends had one of those two combinations. And for the longest time, I had coral as my accent color. I have recently gotten a new comforter, so that is an upgrade. Right now, my main problem is that I have my stuff from home and half of my stuff is at college. But when I come back, like right now it's Christmas break, when I come back, the stuff that's from college kind of just gets mingled in for my stuff from home and there's just stuff absolutely everywhere and I need to sort through it. Clean, we're gonna paint the whole room um, and I really just need to organize. One of my main problems is I got a new desk and it's way cuter than my old one but it has significantly less storage. So you will see, I will show you all these boxes in the corner. But I think to start, the first thing I need to do is I don't know. The first thing I need to do is clear out all of the stuff that doesn't belong in here. I love decluttering and organizing spaces, so this is very fun for me. I hope it's fun for you. I love watching room makeovers and cleaning videos while I'm cleaning and to get inspiration for my own room, so hopefully this helps you if you are thinking about redoing your bedroom. Maybe you want to get rid of your aqua walls. I don't know. I do. So without further ado, let me show you what we're working with. When you walk into my room, it's really not too bad. You've got the bed. This is my big armor dresser. And the only thing I don't like about this corner is that that's where I keep all my duffel bags and that is a very impractical spot. They're all just shoved there and it looks really cluttered and horrible. This is my nightstand. I hope that I'm going to be getting rid of this nightstand. I'm gonna be keeping my bed. That keyboard at some point has wound up in my room um, when I was gone for college. It, it has appeared there now. And these two stacks of bins over there um, used to be under my bed my freshman year of college. But now that I'm not in a lofted bed, I kind of just have them there all the time. They're sitting there taking up space. There's like three t-shirts in this and then I think like one or two in those. Like I really don't need them. So I might just get rid of those or sell them. This is kind of one of my trouble corners. This is my brand new desk with my old chair that I don't really think I want to keep because I don't want hot pink in my room much more anymore, except for the sofa, I'm keeping the sofa. But all those boxes in the corner, the that, that all came out of my desk. My parents went through those. I have absolutely no idea what is in them. Um, we're gonna find out. The next trouble area is this corner, which is kind of my drop off spot for things when I come back and forth from college. I've got my suitcases over here. Those are like extra scarves and stuff. That's my cooler that I have to paint for my boyfriend for formal if that's ever happening. Um, this is all my Cricut vinyl supplies down here. I also got a new hanging chair for Christmas. I really like it. It's um, it's kind of like a macrame chair, but burlap -y. I don't know, it'll look cute when it's all up together. This was the old chair that was hanging up. You can see it's not quite my grown-up sophisticated vibes it's very little girly so anyway i like this chair a lot more my sister just redid her room this is her old headboard i'm claiming it as my own for next year when i have my own apartment i'm living out of the sorority house and then this bookshelf is honestly just a nightmare it's just i mean i don't even know what to do with this so i'm just gonna take everything off i'm trying to decide if i even want to keep this bookshelf I mean, I'm using it, but clearly you can see I'm using it for lots and lots of junk. It's basically just books and junk, so it just needs to be sorted. So now that you've seen the room, I'm going to set up a little montage of me cleaning, and I'll check back with you when I am done.
bag broke. <laughs> Sun's coming up like the day before. You're like a stone on my pillow. I don't make a sound when I shut the door. Guys, I've struck gold. <laughs> it's all my silly bands. <laughs> I knew they were in this box. I had no idea where the box was, but that was a fun surprise. I have found, yet again, something spectacular. These are all of my hand sanitizer holders from Bath and Body Works in late elementary school to middle school. I would change these out based on my outfit for the day. And can't forget this one's for lip gloss, specifically the Bath and Body Works lip gloss. Here's me and my best friend doing ballet when we were really little. Hey, Livy, if you're watching this. I have officially sorted through all of the boxes from this corner. I moved these two chairs over here. Um, everything else, I've got a donate pile right here. It's all gonna go to donate the chair and then bins are full. Um, this is a box of keepsakes that I'm gonna keep and I found a little webkins. <laughs> Uh, my suitcases I'm going to put back there in that storage closet, but I have not gotten there yet. This is my trash pile, except for my backpack and my purse. Don't look at those. And then everything along that wall. This is all keep for a later date. When I was 14, we went to England, and this is my souvenir England wall. And though I had a lot of fun on that trip, I am going to relocate these pictures to our hallway. I am a neat person, but I think this is truly the worst my closet has ever been. I would like to preface this by saying that my sister recently redid her room, so not only do I have a whole bunch of my stuff thrown in this closet, when she redid her room, a lot of the stuff that didn't have a spot from her room got put in my closet so that somebody else could deal with it at a later date. Um, and I guess that date is today, and I guess that person is me. Also, peep the American Girl doll kit tree house in my closet. I'm really glad that's in there. It is now time for one of the best parts of the video, and that is me color coordinating my closet. I like having my clothes laid out by color. I know some people do it by style or season, but color helps me see best what I have in my wardrobe. I have actually gotten my closet cleaned out. Um, don't mind the bar, we're gonna get another brace for it. I know it's pending in the middle, but it's fine. This is the aftermath, all the clothes I'm going to get rid of, all the bags, and scarves, and extra shoes that came out of my closet. I would like to give a big shout out to my dad for helping me carry a whole bunch of books and random items that were on the shelf to the basement. Like I said, most of the stuff on this shelf was either junk or books, so what we didn't keep I ended up just going ahead and tossing. Um, and it's just so much nicer to have a nice clean organized shelf rather than just a dump pile for random stuff It's day one of painting. I've got my paint shirt on my mom and I just went around the whole room Except for this back wall with my bed and my armoire We moved all the furniture away from the walls and we were going around the baseboards and the ceiling that we could reach without a ladder and painting it with primer so we've done one coat of primer like on all the edges. We're about to go into the roller, but we're taking a little break. My mom is helping me today and then she has to work tomorrow. So tomorrow I will be taking over. Let's get to painting. 
thank you to my wonderful mother for helping me paint. We went ahead and did one coat of primer around the entire room and then we followed up with two coats of paint. That is except for the wall that my bed and my dresser are on. All the furniture didn't really fit if we pulled that away from the wall. So I painted all the other walls except for the big wall with primer and paint first. Then you'll see later we pulled out my bed and dresser, painted those walls and then moved everything back. So I painted that wall last. Good morning friends, it's painting day two. As you might be able to tell through my window, it is snowing today. Last night I finished our first coat of primer and I thought it looked solid enough to go on to the paint, so I started painting the first coat this morning. Let me show you what it looks like. Are you my painting buddy? Are you so helpful? Thanks, pup. As you can see, this is the first coat of primer. There's still some blue showing, but all I really wanted the primer for was just to have a nice base for the color. It didn't have to be perfect. Both my paint and primer I got from Ace Hardware, and it's kind of hard to tell, but this paint kind of shows up as white on camera, and it's really more of a taupey color. I'll show you on the wall. This morning I went around the baseboards and up the sides of the store, and I painted this whole panel. So. It's kind of like a light taupe. Um, it's kind of hard to tell. I guess over here you can tell better. The, the baseboards and the sideboards are white. This is kind of like a warmer color. Yeah, sorry, I've got paint all over my hands. <laughs> I'm really happy with how it's looking. It also has occurred to me that I have not mentioned I don't use painter's tape. No, I, I've never used it because it seems like just more work than I need to do. You may be asking, what do I do instead? Well. What I do is this technique called cutting in. My mom learned it on an HGTV show. It's not one that's on anymore, but um, basically what you do is just take the paintbrush and you, you cut in very simply. Here, I'll show you, I'll show you. Okay, ready? So I have my paint, some of my paint in this little Tupperware container and I get some on my brush, like, I don't know, a decent bit. All you have to do, you take it and you start maybe like an inch from the wall and then you just take the brush and paint really close to the line and then when you're done you flip it away kind of smooth that out and you just repeat that and that's all you have to do and as long as you have a steady hand it's fine you get it as close to the door as you possibly can I just I don't understand why you wouldn't just do this because then you don't have to worry about putting up tape everywhere see how easy that is So next time you are painting your room, I don't want to hear that you're using painter's tape. I want everybody to start cutting in. After I finished two coats of paint around the whole room, I moved my bed and dresser out from the wall and we painted one coat of primer and two coats of paint on the back wall. I didn't get any footage of me painting this wall, but I feel like you kind of get the gist. You've seen a lot of me painting. And my room was an absolute chaos at this point. All my clothes and everything was just everywhere. So we finally got it all painted. My Dad helped me move everything back into place. Everybody say hi to my sweet baby Daisy. Is a bedroom really cozy if there's not a cat on your bed?
furniture I decided to leave where it was. It really made the most sense. The only thing I want to do, I would love to be able to paint this bed set white. Like I said, I got this new bedspread. This is actually an Ugg bedspread. And if you have ever worn Uggs, the inside, like that really soft fleece material is basically what the underside of this is. It's like, it's Ugg. It's literally an Ugg blanket. It's the warmest thing I've ever felt. Ugg blanket. So soft. It's fantastic. These two throw pillows are from At Home. I got them several years ago. And this one over here is from Dollar General of all places. Their throw pillow section is actually surprisingly amazing. And then these two pillows back here I got from Target. These sheer window curtains are from Target. I've had that furnace for quite a while. It's from Walmart. My room is right over the garage, so my room gets very cold and it's nice to have that little furnace under the window. It feels so cozy. I got these doorknobs to go on my closet doors. They're just kind of crystally. They're really cute. But the screws that came with them are too small for the closet door. They're too short, so I'm gonna have to get some new screws. But won't that be cute? That's cute, I love it. I kept my desk over here where these screws are on the wall. We plan on putting shelves in. There used to be shelves there and those were the brackets for them. So we're gonna put those back up so I can put some art on this wall. And then also I need something to hang over the window. Um, it's just a little bland right now. And I've got my sofa and coffee table. I'm gonna mount that mirror above the sofa at some point. I got some new throw pillows for my sofa as well. I had this one, this one's from Dollar General and that one's from Dollar General, we put my monogram on it. And then these two white ones in the front are from Target. The sofa itself is from Walmart. I got it from my dorm freshman year. This is my hanging chair. As you can see, the cushions that came with it are like ridiculously flimsy. I had a hanging chair here before. These are the old cushions from it. So I put them there um, because I want to make new covers for those old cushions. And for the moment, I am keeping my bookshelf here and that this is stuff I still need to sort through. Overall, I am incredibly happy with how my room turned out. It's so much cozier and calmer. I am so glad to be rid of the blue. This color is exactly what I wanted. Most of the time when I hang out in my room, I just turn these two lamps on and have it nice and cozy like this. How cozy. I'm obsessed. Like this is exactly how I wanted this to turn out. I'm so happy. That is going to conclude today's video. I really hope you enjoyed my room makeover. I had a lot of fun doing it. I'm so glad it's finally done. There's still several things I wanna get done. I wanna get some more art for the walls. Um, I need to mount this mirror, put it up on the wall. It can't just sit on the sofa. But anyway, thank you so much for tuning along. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.